happy holidays and welcome to Brunswick Biz, only on ATMC TV. I'm your host, Kat Hustis. This month, we visit with Leland CrossFit, Just Perfect Home Staging and more, and FixMyPhone.com. Stay tuned for the next 30 minutes as we connect Brunswick County, one business at a time. Rebecca Dawson and Jessica Perone with Just Perfect uh, right here in one of your staged homes. Very cool to come out to and we've never had someone like this on our show and I want our viewers to know that something like this is available here in Brunswick County. So we're excited to have you guys on the show and for us to come out here to this beautiful home and, and see what you guys do. So thanks for having us. Well, thanks, thanks for coming. You. Yeah, absolutely. First, tell us a little bit about Just Perfect. What is it that you guys do? What do you offer to your clients? Well, <laughs> um, we do a lot. Um, we are primarily a home staging company. So we started in 2007 um, offering home staging. We work with vacant and occupied homes. Um, we have all of our own inventory of furniture, so we're able to um, kind of customize our inventory to satisfy the variety of styles of homes and target demographics in our area because we're fortunate to kind of see a large span of things between right. you know historic downtown Wilmington to all the coastal communities in Brunswick County um, you know the the loft seer type places downtown okay. also so a large variety which is fun to work with um, and from there, we, we've kind of developed and grown as our clients' needs have grown. We offer redesign services if, for clients that aren't selling their home but okay. want some help with their right. personal home. So we do that. Um, we offer just consultations with color selections, um, kind of like we did here, but um, you don't have to be selling your house for that. Oh, neat. And uh, then it recently evolved into retail. So um, we've always had our inventory has been available for sale for our state for the buyers of our state home. So if you came in and bought this house and wanted everything in it, we'd sell. We you know offer that as um, an wow. opportunity for buyers. Very good. And um, we do that for our design clients as well. And then we recently have expanded and made that available to the public. Very cool. Yeah. And so you have a store now as well mm -hmm. with all that stuff, like you said. Very good. Mm -hmm. Well, Rebecca, tell us a little bit how you guys got into this. You guys are sisters, mm -hmm. and so uh, as well as, as partners. And, and so very cool thing to see that it's family running mm -hmm. this business. Um, but tell us how y'all y'all got started and how you got into it. Yeah, we actually ended up in Wilmington kind of through me going to school here. Okay. I went to UNCW and um, after Jessica graduated from the College of Charleston, she learned about home staging, trained with a company there and kind of fell in love with the service and was absolutely amazed at, sort of, at the difference it could make for mm -hmm. people that were selling their home. So she was looking at different areas of where she should bring this service to and looked at Wilmington partly because I was living here at the time mm -hmm. and then also because there wasn't a readily available option for home staging. It wasn't easy to find, it wasn't a very well-known service. So in 2007 she moved here and started Just Perfect and um, sort of the funny thing is when she first started people would ask what is home staging? Mm -hmm. You know, So it was a lot of education because it's a fairly new industry as a whole. Um, but over the past seven years, she's built it up, and um, like she said, our services have been expanding and growing as the needs of our clients right. change. Um, but it kind of got started from her training in Charleston. Her background is in um, art and business, and so I guess the spark happened when she was working for 
retail shops and actually a gallery in Charleston. Okay. And she was able to see how the different pictures that she hung in the window or in the retail shop, you know, the mannequins, the way they were dressed, they drew in different clients. Right. And I think that really carries over to home staging as well, yeah. you know, because we're essentially creating a window display for a home that's supposed to right. draw buyers in and make them fall in love with the product. Yeah, very cool. It's so yeah. interesting because like you said, it's so different. Like you're going to mm -hmm. find all different types of homes and, mm -hmm. and people are selling them and people are interested in different things. Yeah. So it's neat to be able to really fulfill those different aspects of different homes. Mm -hmm. um, tell us why. Why would someone want or need or benefit from staging their home, whether it is to, to sell or just staging it, um, you know, for their own benefit? Mm -hmm. Well, especially homeowners that are looking to put their house on the market, staging is a great first step because it's the same thing that you would do with, um, with your car. You know, before you go to sell your car, you're going to make sure to get it detailed and tuned up and it's showing its best. And the same thing applies for your home. So the staging kind of has that prep work aspect, you know, mm -hmm. make sure everything's clean and tidy and neat. And then we actually come in with the staging to merchandise the home. So okay. when you're selling, our goal is to make your home, A, stand out from others that buyers mm -hmm. are going to be looking at. You know, there's a lot of different options and you want them to choose your house. Um, the other benefit is it's going to make the features of the home stand out. So it's not just putting furniture into the house. It's not just rearranging the things that are already there. We want to make sure that each room is set up so that the built-ins or the fireplace or a great waterfront view is the highlight of the house, not so much the things that are in it. So there's a lot of thought and reason and practice behind how everything is set up. And the main why for why homeowners should stage their house is because it helps them sell quicker. Right. Um, about 76% faster than oh, their wow. unstaged competition. Yeah. And also receive higher offers. Okay. So it's really one of those things where it's essentially marketing. Yeah. You know? And so if that. you yeah. do this, it's going to save you time. It's going to save you money. And it's going to help you get the absolute most out of your home. And it's one of your largest assets too. You know, right. so it's, it's kind of funny how many people take the largest asset they probably will ever own, mm -hmm. you know, one of them, and just put it up for sale mm -hmm. without doing yeah. anything to it. Right. You know, and, and you, you're not going to get as much out of it when you don't take that time and energy and effort. And, you know, it's, it is an investment to right. put into your home, which sometimes seems contradictory since mm -hmm. you're trying to sell it. Trying to get out of it. <laughs> yeah, you're trying to get out of it. <laughs> but, you know, when you bear in mind that it's the, the largest asset, you want to make sure you get the absolute right. most out of it possible. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just like you would your car or when you're dressing to go to an interview or, do, you know, you're doing all these things to prepare and make sure that you're presenting yourself or whatever else in the best light possible. So you really should do that with your home too. Right. Well, mm -hmm. that makes sense to me. It really does. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, definitely a benefit when people are selling their home. I know it's a stressful time and, um, you know, anxious and a lot of emotions into selling your home. Mm -hmm. So having someone come in and really help the home sell, mm -hmm. I feel like that would definitely be a win-win for everyone there. Yeah. Um, tell That's us, what we aim for. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Tell us quickly just the process. If someone's interested in staging their home, what would the procedure be? Yeah, definitely. Well, we think that any house can benefit from staging. So whether it's new or old or big or small, all of our homes see really great results. And the first thing we want to do is get to know you. So we actually invite clients into our office for a free introductory meeting. And during that time, we go through their home, look at its features, um, kind of decide which areas we want to highlight with the staging. During that time, we're also going to go over our process and our results and try to get everyone on the same page. That way, the pro project runs smoothly from that point forward. After that, the next step is for us to actually go out and visit the home. Okay. During this time, we're kind of walking through as a buyer would, and we make recommendations to the homeowners based on that evaluation. So. The prep work covers things like neutralizing, cleaning, any sort of decluttering or updates and repairs that should be made. And we recommend those to the homeowner and they can either carry them out themselves or we can coordinate it for them. 
Oh. Um, then from there, we actually prepare the staging. So we choose all of the inventory from our warehouse, pack it all up, bring it out to the house, and set it up um, so that it is staged, showing great, and ready for buyers by the end of the day. Very cool. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's, it's a pretty quick process if people are, are looking to do it soon that they can definitely get in touch and, and have it staged in the next couple of weeks. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. We usually ask, depending on the prep work um, that's involved, mm -hmm. um, we can usually get it done in as little as two weeks after we get a contract and a decision to move forward. So. Okay. Very yeah. good. Well, it's this great. is great. What is the contact information for you guys? Do you have a website or maybe just a telephone number? Yeah. What's the easiest way for our viewers to get a hold of you? You can either call us um, at 910-251-7711 or go to our website, justperfecthomestaging.com. Okay. Very good. And if you're not selling your house, but our, you love the photos and you want stuff for your new house, we yeah. also now have shopjustperfect.com. Oh, very cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then where's your store located? We're on South Kerr Avenue, um, okay. 259 South Kerr Avenue near Planet Fitness and Pro Build. Okay. So in Wilmington. Mm -hmm. yep. Very good. Well, thank you guys for letting us come out, see this house and see all the things that you've done to this. And I know our viewers are going to be very excited mm -hmm. to see what they can have from you guys. So thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. We enjoyed having you out here. Thanks. with Taryn Zeller and Matthew Kane, owners of Leland CrossFit, obviously right here in Leland, and we're in the Waterford Shopping Center. I'm very excited to be here because we have had a CrossFit on our show before. It's been a few years, um, but we wanted to remind our viewers about CrossFit and then also let people know that you guys are here and in a great location, especially for those who are up in, in the north end of Brunswick County. So thanks for having us out here. Thanks for coming. We're Absolutely. Happy to be here. Well, tell us a little bit about how you got started. I know y'all are pretty new, um, so tell us kind of the road that led you here. So I've been doing CrossFit for the past couple of years. I did it in the military. As soon as I got back from the military, I continued doing it for two to three years. I have been doing CrossFit over in Wilmington, and soon after doing it in Wilmington, I saw a need in Leland. All the people living in Leland in Brunswick County had to commute all the way over to Wilmington, across the bridge, get stuck in traffic. The workout ended up taking up the majority of their night. So we decided to come over to this side of the bridge and open one up for the people of Leland. Very good. Well, I know I'm very appreciative because I live in this area and I, I do love CrossFit, so I know, um, especially for me. I'm very excited you guys are here. Um, tell our viewers a little bit about CrossFit. They've probably seen it. It's becoming very popular. They might see CrossFit games on TV. So tell our viewers what what is CrossFit? Well, CrossFit's defined as constantly varied um, functional movement. Um, coming from an endurance background, I pretty much ran long distance my whole life, so I thought we were kind of the fittest of the fit. And when I was introduced to CrossFit, it totally blew my mind on how functional and how beneficial it was to your entire body, mentally and physically. Um, we're going to ask you to do stuff that is movements that you do every day. Um, that's the purpose of functional movement, compound movement. So you're not just doing movements like this, you're using your entire body. Um, it's high intensity, so you'll come in here and usually the wads are anywhere between 10 and 30 minutes. Um, and you'll have a strength component too. So um, we, we'll give you a little picture on what a wad actually looks like and what people do here. Yeah, and so wad, what is a wad? A, a wad is a workout of the day. Okay. That's why people keep coming back. Gotcha, yeah. okay. And like you said, we were filming here a little bit beforehand watching the guys this morning and girls um, do a wad. So what were they doing and, and is that a typical wad? So today's workout started off with the strength portion. They worked on close grip bench press, followed it up with a workout of the day or the wad, which was 15 minutes of ring dips, push press, and box jumps. That way they get a little bit of everything and work the majority of the muscles in their body instead of a workout where you would go to a typical Globo gym and kind of isolate a certain muscle every single day. Gotcha. We love. So people are coming out of here working everything. So I know from experience too, like your whole body can be sore after a workout. Yeah. It's a good sore. It's right. a good thing. It, you can tell you're really 
getting work done when you're here. So that's very good. Now, another question I know our viewers might be wondering is who benefits from CrossFit? Is anyone able to do it? I, obviously, you're pregnant and you're still doing some workouts. And, um, and I know that there's men, there's women, there's young people, there's older people. I assume a lot of people can do it, but is there a certain person that benefits more? I would say that this, the awesome thing about CrossFit is it's for everybody. Um, every workout, you're going to be doing the same exact wad, but it's completely scalable to your needs. So okay. if you walk in here and say there's a 70-year-old man and he can't lift like a barbell, he can still do his body weight for his, for his actual workout, and he's still going to benefit from that. Um, I mean, it's awesome because the whole idea behind CrossFit is to really like help you not to become decrepit and to keep you in shape and mm -hmm. to, um, you know, really, really use your body like it's supposed to be, you know, be used. Right. So it's really, we differ by degree and not kind. So um, everyone, and that's like the awesome part about the workout too, is you develop this bond with everyone you're working out with because you're doing the same thing and you're cheering everybody on and you're competing against each other and you're competing against the clock. And, um, but you can also scale it to your needs. Very good. So you all have like, I mean, it's like a family here. When people come in, you know, people start seeing the same people or meeting mm -hmm. new people and really can just bond, like you said, over workouts, which is great. Yeah. Um, I know people really get into it and I think it's awesome, especially that you guys are here now. What about um, the future? What do you guys hope, to, are you gonna be here for a while? Do you think you'll expand? Where, where do you see this specific box going? We've only been open for about six months, and we are already getting our name out there, getting bigger and bigger every week. So we are hoping to expand in the future. Okay. We really can't see it going any other way right now. Good. So. Yeah, yeah. we're really excited, and I think that being a part of this community is what we really want to reach out to the people of Leland and even beyond that, um, because it's such a great part you know to be a part of something that where you're held accountable so if mm -hmm. you go to another gym a global gym or whatnot nobody's going to realize if you're not there or not here you do and people are like where are you yeah right. it, it, it doesn't even stop at the gym most of our members are actually friends friends now and yeah. hang out outside, outside of the gym very good that's yeah. awesome and i know it, it could be intimidating working out can be so it's nice to know that people are encouraging it, not just the coaches everyone is rooting for you mm -hmm. so that's exciting Tell our viewers um, where exactly, exactly you're located and then what would be the process if they were interested in, in signing up but okay. really don't have experience with, with all the CrossFit stuff. Okay, so if you are interested in doing it, you could send me an email at matt at lelandcrossfit.com. We are located directly behind the Waterford Shops at 161 Pool Road. Our building says Spectrum Paint on the outside. Mm -hmm. But as soon as you walk in, just go to the left, and we're the last door on the right. Okay, very good. And another easy way to contact us and, and to learn more about us is just at our website at okay. www.lelandcrossfit.com. Okay, very good. I know a lot of information is on that website, too. So thank you so much for letting us come out here, see Awad, and, and talk to you guys and let our viewers know that you guys are here. So we appreciate it. Thank, thank you, you so much for having us. Absolutely. <laughs>
training on how to do this. So I went ahead and uh, went to school in Atlanta oh and uh, was certified as a level three technician, which means that I am not scared to go into a phone or a tablet to fix it. Okay. Um, I hate to be the one who people call when they are in a fix, when they break their phone, when they break their tablet, and they say, oh my goodness, who am I going to call? Well, that's why I started FixMyPhone.com. And that's fix-my-phone.com. That's the, the name of the company. That is, uh, it, it, that's the website also. And okay. uh, it's just a, a good situation to be able to help people in their time of need. When they right. are in, in dire need of somebody to fix their phone, I'm there for them. Well, that is a great service to offer because not only are phones just so important to people. I mean, really, nowadays, you do everything on a phone. So it's just something that people are always on and always need to have their attention to. So not only is it great because people always use them, but they're so expensive too. So it would, it would be a disaster to break a phone and then have to go and buy a whole brand new one. So this, again, a service that is going to be great for our viewers to know about. Um, I know you brought a couple of examples here. So obviously this tablet is broken and I assume you can fix this. Yes, this is an iPad mini that uh, has seen its better days as far as the display goes. And um, if somebody wanted to say fix it through it, I said I'd, I'd be more than happy to. Um, it would uh, take not that long to do, probably as a matter of uh, hours. Uh, oh, wow. Pretty much the rule of thumb is if I get a, an, uh, a, a tablet or a phone early enough in the day, I can have it back to you the same day. Wow. So uh, you know, depending upon my, the load of, of what I have to do for that day, but in general, I'll be happy to do that. And what I would do is I would meet you at a predetermined location or either go to your business, pick it up, and that's here in Brunswick County mm -hmm. primarily, uh, pick it up, fix it, carry it back. Okay. And uh, I do not have a brick and mortar. I operate as a mobile business, so mm -hmm. that's that's how I, I get things done. I uh, I have good. a location that I I do my work uh, quickly. Everything's there, so I just just plan on having it uh, to me and back to you the same day. Wow, that is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Very good to know. Now, all phones, all tablets, are are you able to fix, or is there certain ones you might stay away from? One good thing about me is I will discuss all the options with you. Okay. Let's say that you have a phone that is three to four years old that gets broken and you want to fix. Now, th things are happen very quickly in this industry. Uh, now you have iPhone 6s out, but let's say you had an iPhone 3, mm -hmm. you know, which is now four or five years old. Um, it may or may not be good for you to fix that or not, because um, uh, unless you have um, a, uh, another phone possibly mm -hmm. that you would want to use, but depending upon the value of the phone, right. you may or may not want to fix an older phone. Gotcha. Because if I charge you, say, $75 to fix a phone, and the value of the phone is only $25 or $50 more than that, that's a higher percentage of value for that phone to be fixed. Right. So it's not I, worth it. Right. So you know, a, a newer phone, sure, it is. Mm -hmm. An older phone, we'll discuss it. You know, I'll, I'll tell you what I can do. I'll tell you how much it's going to be. And, uh, and you can make that decision. But okay. I have to, you know, I feel it incumbent upon me mm -hmm. having, you know, been in the customer service end of it for so long to advise you on what I would do if I were in your situation. Right. Do you have insurance on your phone? Uh, do you, you know, uh, are you in love with your phone so much you never mm -hmm. ever want to give it up? Right. So you know, those are things that you have to consider. Gotcha. Very good. Mm -hmm. Now I know that you brought um, some screen protector protector options to show people. What would be the benefit of a screen protector? Well, just, just what it says. It protects the screen from scratches. Uh, there, and you have different levels of screen protection. You have the, the little plastic thin screen protector, mm -hmm. which primarily protects it from scratches. Uh, you also have the thick, you know, they call it explosion proof, but it's very, very thick, uh, very, very protective. It's tempered glass is what it is. Okay. And, uh, and you would put it right on top of a phone. This is a Galaxy Mega right here mm -hmm. and uh, you can see that it is thicker than normal but this provides such a higher level of protection than does the the little plastic one like this right. it's worth it 
Okay. It really is worth it. Now, you're going to pay probably $20 or $25 for a screen protector like this, but it's absolutely worth it. And, and I uh, you know, beg of my customers, you know, after I get things fixed, please get a good case. Right. Please get a good screen protector. Um, you know, I've had people to call me back, well, true it, I've, I've done it again. I said, well, okay. you know, please, please, please get a good screen protector. But, uh, but let's say that you would call me and, and you would have a phone or tablet that you would want me to fix. First thing I would do uh, after finding out exactly what kind it is, is ask if, uh, if you have everything backed up. Now, that's the information, your pictures. Right. Um, on an, an Apple product, that would be through iTunes. Uh, through, on an Android, that would be through uh, Google+. Plus. Okay. So make sure everything is backed up. Uh, I will remind you to do that and uh, and go from there because you want to, of course, protect all the information that you have in a phone. Right. Before we wrap up, tell our viewers um, your contact information. How can they get a hold of you if, for some reason, they need to use your services? 616-6669. That's very Easy good. Number? 916 -616 Truett Jones, I'm here in Brunswick County. Uh, I live in the Holden Beach area, okay. which is centrally located to the Southport area, to Supply, to Shalote, uh, to other areas of the county. Give me a call. I will tell you my opinion on what I can, or if, is it worth it to do, then what I can do, what I can't do. But in general, I, I found out that I can fix about 85% of what's thrown at me. But, uh, but I will consult with the, the customer to make sure that everybody's happy. And, and you pay me only when you're happy and I'm happy. Good. Well, that sounds great. Very excited for you and excited for our viewers to use this service. We appreciate you coming out today and telling us about what you can do for people. My so thank pleasure. you. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in to Brunswick Biz, only on ATMC TV. Special thanks to Leland CrossFit, Just Perfect Home Staging and More, and FixMyPhone.com. If you have any questions about today's show or would like to see a business on our show, remember it is free. Just give us a call at 755-1770. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you next year for Brunswick Biz, when we connect Brunswick County one business at a time. Boutique, a women's and children's clothing store in Ocean Isle Beach, where charming and classic meet fun-loving and playful. Yeah, I just finished up all my Christmas shopping. Fire! Ah, hey! Don't let this happen to you. Don't set yourself up to be victimized. You have to be mindful during the holiday season that there's folks out there wanting to take advantage of the situation. There's plenty of shoppers around, there's lots of money, there's lots of presents and valuables floating around that aren't necessarily this abundant throughout the year. When you're parking your vehicles at nighttime, make sure you're in well-lit areas, locking your doors when you go into the stores. While you're in the store shopping, make sure that you, you pay attention to the people around you. Don't be flashing currency and credit cards. Don't carry these things loosely. So many times, if you go around stores, you see ladies that leave their pocketbooks in shopping carts or in bags unattended. This is not what you want to do. Make sure that when you take your presents to the car, you have your keys available in your hands. And if you have a newer model vehicle, keep your finger close to the panic button. That way, if a situation arises where you're confronted by a suspect, you can hit the panic button to cause a distress signal that other people can see to alert them that something's going on. Look around your vehicle as you approach it. Make sure that you put your packages and any kind of valuable items in a locked container, preferably your trunk, um, where it's not visible. You have to be extra alert this time of year because there's people watching you that have uh, not so good intentions in mind. And ladies, remember, the Brunswick County Sheriff's Office also offers a women's self-defense course. It's called RAD. We encourage you to check it out. It'll help you with situational awareness and physical protective measures, um, especially this holiday season. I'm John Ingram and it is an honor to serve as your sheriff. The mission and priority at the Brunswick County Sheriff's Office is to serve and protect you, the citizens of this fine county, but we can't do it alone. This holiday season, please take every precaution to protect yourself from becoming a victim of crime. Sadly, this time of year, criminals prey on those who are distracted by the hustle and bustle of the season. 
causing the holiday to be anything but joyous. But these few tips can deter criminal activity and keep your families and your valuables safe and secure. I, along with the men and women of the Brunswick County Sheriff's Office, wish you and your families a safe and happy holiday season. Thanks.